everybody, it's Walter here with Coastal Caterers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly connect a propane tank to a propane cooker or burner. Lots of people ask us how to do that, that have seen some of our steamed oyster videos, some of our shrimp oil videos, and they just asked how we could properly and safely connect a burner to a propane tank. And so we're going to show you how to do that. And the first thing I want to show you is that when you open this up with nothing connected to it, nothing's going to happen. There's no gas that's going to come out because there's nothing connected to the propane tank. So First thing you want to do is you want to take your fitting and you want to connect it tightly and securely to the tank. Then you can go ahead and open the tank up. Make sure you keep your regulator closed. And now we have it hooked up and we're ready to go ahead and light the burner. But I'm going to show you a couple of things real quick right before we light the burner. So there's a couple of things we want to go over here before we light the burner. But first, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to our channel or give us a like. We'd appreciate that. That'd be great. So anyways, we want to make sure that we have the valve on, which it is. The fitting is connected. The regulator is off. And if you're having any kind of issue with the flow of propane to the cooker, you might have a an issue with your tank being full, but we know this tank is full. The other thing might be that you have a bad regulator. This is the regulator right here, but we know everything here on this setup is working properly. So we're gonna go ahead and light the burner. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that the gas is flowing properly. And we're gonna do that by turning the regulator on. And we hear flow coming through the burner. So we know that everything's hooked up properly and it's ready to be lit. So we're gonna give it a second just to let that propane that we let out kind of air out a little bit and propane has a additive to it so you'll know that if, if it's leaking or if it's on you'll smell it uh, propane by itself natural gas doesn't have that smell so it's just something as a safety precaution to let you know that if something's leaking you'll smell it and now let's go ahead and light the burner and the first thing you want to do before you turn the regulator on is you want to make sure that you have your flame on first then turn the regulator on There you have it. That's how you properly connect the propane burner to a propane tank and light it. And hopefully you'll be able to see some oysters or make a shrimp oil or do any other kind of cooking that you need to do on a propane burner. Go ahead and turn it back off here at the regulator. Now that everything's all done, it's cut off. So once again, this is Walter with Coast Caterers. If you would, please subscribe to our channel or give us a like for this video. We'd appreciate that. And thank you very much and have a great day.